What's up, guys? It's your boy Jack here with another episode of Metal Gear Solid 3. And we're jumping right into it. it looks like we got a cutscene going on. Looks like Ava's talking all that mess. What? What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. We've got company. It's the Ocelot unit. Let's Is that not what he just said? Don't forget your gear. Here, give me a hand. We can use this to get to the basement. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Huh? Huh? What? Don't go dying on me now. Uh... This grown man is flustered by a kiss. Okay. The game starts now. I gotta move myself. Right. Yeah, sure, right there. Alright. First off. Get rid of this. For this. And... Yeah, that'll be it. Move, move! move. Whoops. I have no suppressors. It's one. Did we lose him? What? Not here? He's not here? Keep looking. Move! What camo do I have on? Um, effective when pressed up against trees. I think, I think if I go upstairs, or not upstairs, but if I climb up on the roof, if I climb up on the roof, I should be okay.
Bruh. Oh, they all saw me at once. Okay, now where they where are they going? Oh, they're all in there. Nobody here. No one here after all. Could I throw, do I, do I have stun grenades? Um, I do, but I don't think, I don't think they do what they used to do in like MGS1. Come on, man. Alright, there's two guys left. I'm actually surprised none of them are waking the other guys up, but I guess that would be kind of unfair, wouldn't it? Alright, I'm hopping down. Cool. Uh now what do I do? I think I have to go back into the room. Just making sure there's nothing else here. Or is there another way to get out of here? And I'm just not aware of it. Oh yeah, back here, huh? Yeah. Huh? I've been waiting for this moment.
That's it. That's the stance. I don't think so. What? A female spy? This bitch is wearing perfume. Stay where you are. I've had enough of your judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun, I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. And you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. Just spitting facts. Spitting straight facts. Ooh. Ooh. six shots. The Makarov carries eight. You have to get a feel for how many you have left. This is a high-class weapon. It's not meant for shooting people. Damn! This isn't over yet. Saw it got clapped. Eva wearing perfume. And I did not equip this. So. No, come on. Alright, I need to get rid of it. Uh, well, okay, I'll keep it on. But. Uh -uh, I don't like it. That ain't me, Chief. I don't go around killing people. Any items? Brahm said that your suppressors that you got from the Virtuous Mission don't like transfer over. Speaking of, yeah, I'm not as close as I could be. Ooh, I'm like jiggling. It's like a pixel off, whatever. Okay, um, if I remember correctly, there's some items here, but I don't want to get death rolled by no alligator. Oh, sorry. Yeah, are they alligators? Because alligators have the thin, the thin snouts. Oh, 
I think that's the way to go. But I want to get that over there. Oops, I got a codec call. Snake, are you there? Eva? Did you miss me? Yes. Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. So you're back with Volgan? In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Better be careful. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traitors have a lot in common. Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I... I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Why do you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? Yes, in a small rural town. I never even knew there were other countries, other cultures, other ways of thinking. Until I went to work for the NSA. Then one day, I found I'd lost faith in the things I'd been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I saw the universe. The universe? Not the actual universe. The universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People and countries are both changed by their environment. And by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America. But it's only a difference of position, a difference of perspective. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where's the truth then? It's hidden in the lies. Are you lying too? Who knows? I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Weren't you? No. I... Believe because I have to, even if it is a lie. That's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. See ya. Cool, so... Oh. So if you stick by the edges, that works. Um, I'm trying to get up here. Is that... Because look. Whoops. Sorry, Mr. Alligator. Can I go through here? Bullets. It looks like the game is actually starting now. Oh, I see. So this part's gonna be hard because you have to like hit try or hit X and then triangle to land on the rope. Let's see. There we go. Can I make it? My stamina is depleting pretty fast. Cool. All right, now let's. 
forget what the croc cat does. Uh, let's see. What can I put it on my face? No. What does it do? Oh, can I actually, can I, I can, I can call somebody, right? Yo, you're Snake, aren't you? And you're Sigint? None other. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Close. Huh? I am the expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Ah. Uh. I'm the guy that designed your Trank Gun, Active Sonar, and Motion Detect. If you want to know anything about weapons or equipment you find in the field, just send me a message and ask. Later. Cool. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. Let me go back. Let me put on, let me put on the croc cap. I want to ask him about this, because I don't know what it does. Sounds like the Cobra unit's members' names came from the specific emotions they each carry into battle. Emotions? Yeah. For unbearable torment, the pain. For true oblivion, the end. For infinite rage, the fury. For absolute terror, the fear. And for unsurpassed bliss, the joy. The joy? It's another name for the boss, because of the joy she feels in battle, I suppose. Ah. During the war, she had a partner named the Sorrow. Sorrow and Joy. They say there couldn't have been a more perfect pair. Snake, you said Eva said her Mauser was a Type 17, right? Yeah, what about it? That model was produced in the 1920s in a weapons lab in the Shangxi province in China. The cartridge part sticks out lower than the original to accommodate 45 caliber rounds. The barrel and chamber are a little bit thicker, too. But most telling of all, it's got Chinese characters engraved on both sides of the frame like you saw. And that firing stance Eva was talking about where you hold the gun horizontally? That's a trademark of the Chinese. Just like you were saying, when you're firing in full auto mode, the muzzle jump effect gives you a horizontal strafing motion. They say it's especially deadly in indoor and close range mop up actions. The Japanese called it bandit shooting and used to dread it. Makes you wonder where she learned to shoot like that. Sure does. Tell me about my crocodile cat. You know that army motorcycle that Eva was riding? That's a replica of a German model. A replica? Yeah. After World War II, the yeah. Soviets confiscated an entire assembly line from a German motorcycle factory. Machines and all. And then they took it back with them and started producing replicas? Exactly. Originally, that motorcycle was designed to be used with a sidecar attached. That means it's got enough power to drag a 200-plus pound sidecar around. So that's how she could pull off all those crazy stunts. Uh-huh. Of course, it takes a lot of skill to be able to control that much power. That Eva chick is something else. Tell me about my crocodile, Cap. The Davy Crockett's that the boss took with her when she defected are mortars that fire nuclear warheads. They're named after Davy Crockett, the hero who died defending the Alamo in the Texan War of Independence. Remember the Alamo? That's right. The warheads are equivalent to between 10 and 20 tons of TNT. Every building within 150 yards of the hypocenter is completely obliterated. But the warheads the boss had with her were some kind of experimental super bomb. So they're actually even more powerful than that. I don't even want to think about what happened if she used it again. Snake, you know what you have to do. Yeah. I know. Tell me about my crocodile cap. A cap shaped like a there crocodile we go. head, you say? Yeah. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. You know, animal disguises are one of the oldest tricks in the book in the intelligence world. I don't know whether it's true or not, but I've heard that during World War II, the OSS used to use cow suits. 
Supposedly, they sent agents out to hide in herds of real cows so they could spy on enemy units as they passed by. Nowadays, I guess most people wouldn't even give a crocodile-shaped cap a second look. They think it was just a gag item. But if you use it the right way, it can be an effective weapon for spying. I gotta hand it to you, Snake. You're one sharp guy. You okay, Snake? Now forget it. Huh? I don't get. I don't get why he was. Uh, was that like a pun? All right. Uh, and they didn't tell me anything other than you can use it for spying. Sure did learn about a lot of other stuff though. Here we go. Oh, come on. I need to find more suppressors. Claymores. Do I have thermal goggles? I should probably clean these up because I don't know how often I'm going to be through here. But also, claymores would be nice to have. Okay, snake, we'll eat something. Oh, these are rotten. I want some more. I want some more. Huh? There we go. Shouts out to the fact that there's like no radar in this game. I mean there is, but it takes like battery. But it, it's like, nah bro. This is a big boss. Big boss didn't use no radar. Yeah, this is how it, this is how it would look on um, when it first came out, but this is how it looks now. And I honestly, I, I prefer it this way, even though it's like really, really different from MGS One and Two. Like I still, it has its place. Let's get through this area without getting spotted. He said, what was that? 
something just shot me. Ooh, I remember this area. Ooh, it's gonna be tough. All right, we gotta change our camo. Plus 15. There we go. What about our face? Nothing. Looks like woodland's gonna be it for us. All right, we have to be super careful around here because there's a lot of guys. I think I have enough ammo for everybody. Even if it took me two shots for each person, I should be fine. anyone around here doesn't look like it you got a suppressor Ooh, no AK-47 bullet yes a new suppressor search continues now I don't do we have any TNT we don't but I think we can get TNT from in here and we're starting to get pretty hungry I think it's from all this crawling around. Oof. Oof, chief. Oof, there's a guy right there. Excuse me, son. Uh -huh. Who was that? Who's that? <laughs> okay. I mean, that was an alert, but. Does that count? Okay, that's that guy. Nice trap, cool. Let me let me go ahead and eat some delicious. Mm. Another mousetrap, MK-22 bullets, huh? oops, 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 he's gonna come in here. Come on, bro. Go ahead and look. Nobody here.
Ooh, another suppressor. From the M19. This looks like communication. In tactics. Ooh, that was almost bad. Okay. Who the heck? I gotta take a quick glance around at the surroundings. Oops. See, I wish, I wish this thing, I wish it had like the Metal Gear 5 thing where it would like tell you like, like it would give you like, ooh, water uniform, cool. So that's where it was. It was hiding. Um, I don't see any more guards. Unless I'm, like, blind. Oop, there's one. There we go. I guess he just woke up. Which means the other guys are probably gonna wake up here soon. I know there's another guard over by the weapons. Ooh, nice. This is the communication. Huh? What was that? Me! It was me! Anything back here? Nope. Grenade, TNT, stun grenade. All right, let's go ahead and um, mess up this whole area. Five, huh? Press the square button. Okay, press the square button. Set. Mess up their ammo. Mess up their communication. Oops. Radio, we need backup. No, you don't. There you go. Please respond. What's going on? Respond. There's something wrong. Support unit, confirm their status. Uh oh. What's wrong? So he's running away. Alright, so I messed up the food. I messed up the communication. Okay, bruh, I'll eat. Russian ration. He's gonna say it's gross. Eat a rat. HQ, 
you. Please respond. Huh? What's going on? Respond. I'm out of here. There's something wrong. Support unit. Confirm their status. I messed up the whole area. Looks like the boss's info was right. Oh, he's gonna show off his skills now. Twice now you've made me taste bitter defeat. But you're mine now. All of you, leave us. It's just you and me. No one to get in our way. Ocelots are proud creatures. They prefer to hunt alone. This time I've got 12 shots. take the suppressor off since I don't want to waste it in a boss fight. Simply changing a clip. This reload like his JoJo is poses. I love it. Die. Let me put on some life med.
time is exhilarating. Whoops. You're all talk, huh? You fool! Not bad, eh? Man. I don't need those bullets. I need some MK22 bullets. Oh, wait. Is this it? Oh, I beat him. Damn it. He found us. Meet again. Oh, snap. Oh, cool. I got his, I got his uniform. Uh, should we wait in real time, or should we just throw on? I mean... It takes, it takes like a few minutes to be able to see. That's water. Oh, and there's lots of food in here. I forgot. I'm gonna... Let's take off this TNT. And just throw... Let's just throw a grenade right, real fast. Like, right there. No, nothing. There's a snake right here. Huh. 
Whatever you do. Awesome. There's stuff over here. Like, you, I can't see at all. I don't know if you guys can see. Probably not. It is darker than dark in here. Some more water. I don't want to be over there. You know what? I don't. I don't have any sort of thermal goggles. I thought I did. I don't. Well, actually, I don't think they had thermal goggles in the 60s. Oops. Room, huh? Oh, I can't see you, dude. There's a dead guy right here. Oh, looks like he had a trank gun, too. Oops. Not where I wanted to go because there's a camouflage. Oh nice, I can see a little bit better. There we go, here's a shotgun. Hmm. Let's take off that M19. Take out that, take out that, put it on the M37 so we can shoot the uh the bugs. That's the boss fight right there. Let me eat this, uh, Taiwanese Cobra, huh? Not too bad. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do the boss fight. Now, shouts out to uh, Carson for showing me this. Um, showing me how to do this one.
because I remember I used to have so much trouble with this boss fight. Actually, let's get some of this food right fast. Because we're going to be swimming a bit, so we might as well have something to snack on. What's up, Mr. Fish? I'm hiding, bro. I did some damage, I didn't do a whole lot. some food underwater. Oh, 
There we go. Halfway there. Almost got him. I'm gonna die. I don't have any more life meds. Uh, but do I have? complicated this fight was. tell you what we'll we'll try this next time okay but uh as always guys i had to <laughs>
Oops. Alright, we'll try this next time. But as always, guys, I had a good time. I hope you did too. And remember, you guys have been great, and I've been Jack. Peace. Thank you.